Okay, we're going to do lesson 12-2, fractions and regions. <coughs> so, a fraction can represent more than one of the equal parts. So, in the last lesson, we just focused on one-fourth, one-fifth, uh, one-sixth, one-half. Look at the first picture, okay? How many equal pieces or parts are in this picture? So, how many, looks like a... I don't know, like a piece of bread divided down or a, a square pizza divided up. So how many parts total do we have for that? Four. Now in looking at this one, how many of the parts of the pizza are missing? One, right? So the fraction of the pizza that's missing is one fourth. So we have our denominator of four, right? And numerator one fourth is missing. Okay, one out of the four pieces are missing. How many parts of the pizza remain? So in here, how many parts remain, are still left? Three. Okay, so the fraction that remains, draw your fraction line. Okay, your denominator goes down below the fraction line. Your denominator is the total number of pieces that was there in the beginning. So how many pieces did you have in the beginning, write that down below. And then your numerator is how many pieces that are left, because that's what they're asking, the fraction of the pizza that remains. You have four total that were there and three are left. So your fraction that remains is three fourths. So the denominator, remember denominators down of a fraction told, shows the total number of equal parts in a whole. The numerator shows the number of sections or copies of the unit fraction. The fraction above represents one part of the whole that has been divided into how many sections? Four equal parts. Okay, so one-fourth means there are four equal parts, and we are talking about one of those four equal parts, one-fourth. Okay, looking at this one. What is the total number of equal parts in this figure? Write that there. This number is written in what part of the fraction? So if you had your fraction line here, where would you write the three? Where would you write the total number of pieces? You should write it down, down below the fraction line, which is called what? Denominator, denominator down, okay? Now, how many parts are shaded? It's just this one over here, one. And where are you gonna write that in the fraction? If they wanna know what fraction of this rectangle is shaded, where are you gonna write that? Three is your total, and you're gonna write one, the part that's shaded, that's written in the numerator of the fraction. So the fraction of the figure that is shaded is one-third. How about what is the fraction of the figure that's not shaded? So draw your fraction line, and I want you to look at this, and I want you to write a fraction for the part that is not shaded. Go ahead, pause it, do that right here, and then come back. Okay, if we're looking at the fraction of the figure that's not shaded, our total number of sections is three, and the parts that aren't shaded is two. So two thirds of this rectangle is not shaded. On the back, draw a circle that shows six equal parts. Okay, and we're gonna shade two of them. So you're gonna draw a circle. In order to divide it into six equal parts, it's, it's tricky, you have to divide it in half. Okay, and then you want this side in thirds, which you cannot do like this because this part is going to be much bigger than that part. So you actually have to make like an X right through the middle. Okay, and while it may not be perfect, which for our purposes is pretty close. That one needed to be shifted a little bit that way. They want us to shade two equal parts. 
Okay, so I shaded that one and that one, but I could have shaded those two, I could have shaded those two, any of those, okay? So it says, write the unit fraction that represents each part of the whole. Next, write the number of shaded parts and then write a fraction for the, for the whole that is shaded. Write a unit fraction that represents each part of the whole. Next, write the number of shaded parts. Then write a fraction of the whole that is shaded. Okay, so if we're talking about, we want to write a fraction for the parts that's shaded. So, what is our total number of parts here? Would be six. And then what parts are shaded? Out of those six, how many are shaded? Should be two, right? Now, if they asked if the whole pizza is shaded, we ate the whole thing, right? There's six parts total, and out of those six parts, how many are shaded? Six. Anytime your numerator and denominator is the same, it, it means one whole, because I've eaten six out of six parts, which means I've eaten the whole thing. Okay? Very good. Nice job. Have a good night.